Today on Dockside TV, we're going to be trolling rattle traps and matrix sheds. Stay tuned for this episode. Fishing the lazy way. Fish on, fish on. It's cold like this, got wet jacket weather, water temperatures are down. For whatever reason, the fish really like the trolling method. And the way you do it, we got some matrix sheds on some poles. We like to have some rattle traps on some poles. We're gonna cast all our line out. All right, that's as far as I can go. I'm gonna burn the trolling motor up. We'll add another, about a cast distance off, and we vary the depth, of, I mean the length of this, uh, how much line, depending on the depth of the water. And a lot of people use the big motors and lead line and all of that, which is very effective, but all we, we usually are casting and retrieving, jigging. So the only poles we usually have is just our basic poles. So we got our line out. I know about on this trolling motor where, like the speed I need to be based on the power of it. But if you're not really familiar, you just look on your GPS and you want to be going between 1.5 and 1.8 miles an hour. And that's the, that's the ticket. And you can, you can vary your speeds up a little bit, but when you catch that first fish or two, you want to know exactly how fast you're going and pay attention to exactly how much line you had out and just repeat that maneuver over and over. See if we can get a few fish right here. Fish on, fish on. <clears throat> That's a rattle trap pole or a matrix shed pole? Matrix. Matrix. It's a nice start. As you can see, Brandon's using the shrimp creole matrix shed on that one. And we like to vary up our lures. Whenever it gets hot, we put all we put the same lure on every pole once it gets hot. Double trouble. Alright, whenever we're fish trolling these uh, traps and matrix sheds, very common to get a double. Here comes Brandon's right here. What do you know, an old specky trout on the lemon head. Here comes mine. This one feels like a decent one. It is. Oh yeah. Good quality fish. Very common to double up. What we're doing when you troll is you're covering a lot of water, trying to locate the fish. It's that half ounce rattle trap. Brandon had the lemon head. Locate the fish, and when you locate them, they're typically kind of ganged up. That's why you get doubles. Now, throw that one in the well. Now, what a lot of times, if we really find them piled up trolling, we'll, uh, you know, take the, take the traps off, put the jigs on, and just simply jig matrix shed in that tight zone. But there's a lot of days where they just don't want it bounce off the bottom. They want that bait continuously being pulled through the water column. And I've even had days where I'll cast out, let it hit the bottom, just reel it, 
imitating that trolling motion and they, they just don't want to do nothing to do with it. They want the bait pulled behind the boat. So here we go again. We're gonna cast it out far. Let that burn that trolling motor. Let another about to cast this and off. That's about good. Close it. Get that trolling motor about 1.6 or so. Keep on catching. All right, whenever you're trolling, here's a couple key things you want to know, keep up with. It's most effective, it seems, between water temperatures of 55, 65 degrees. That's kind of the key. And you also want to be paying attention to your sonar very closely when you're doing the whole trolling deal. Typically, the water is very, pretty clean this time of year, when, which we're right in that early winter. Um, and your sonar will pick up fish very well and it goes in hand in hand. A lot of times when we start seeing fish on the graph, you'll start catching them on the, uh, you know, your, your rods will start get going down as they're in the pole holder trolling. Now the two lures of choice today, we were using the shrimp creole on the uh, 3 8 ounce jig head, and we were also using a lemon head trolling. And the other thing we were using was the blue and black I'm sorry, the blue, back, the blue back and the black back rattle trap, half ounce rattle trap, that was very effective. Look how scratched up that trap is from the speckled trout's teeth as I've been catching them all week like that. So that's, uh, that's been the two lures of choice and that's the time of the year, water temperature, you wanna do this. So it's a very good and effective technique to have in your arsenal. Six hooks don't come off this time. I missed the last one. I don't know how with a rattle trap with six hooks, but got this one still hooked on. Trolling around. Usually the rattle traps yield the bigger ones, but so far today the old Matrix has got the bigger fish. But nevertheless, we'll take it. You want to be mighty careful with these traps. Got another one on the old rattle trap right here. So far today, the matrix shed, the rattle trap, they're catching about the same amount. But some days, one can outfish the other. from such a long distance. Let me know if you need the net. That pole was bent over good. You got a little pullback with him, huh? Yeah, it's, it's got some weight. Maybe it's a red. Maybe it's the big one we're looking for. Is that a drum? Look at that. That's a first for me. Drum hitting the troll. Oh, drummy hitting the troll. Uh oh. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV, catching nice speckled trout, trolling, rattle traps, and matrix sheds. We were lucky enough to put a nice mess of speckled trout together real early. It's still, it's probably only 7, 7.30 in the morning. We're going to get out of here, do a whole new Do Dockside TV episode, chasing bass. So stay tuned for that one next week. And until next time, good fishing. Make sure to stay up to date with all of our Dockside TV episodes. Simply hit the subscribe button right here on your YouTube channel.
stay up to date with all of the action going on around the surrounding areas as we catch multiple species of fish from trout to bass to redfish, flounder, and even crappie. Make sure to hit the post notification button also, which will allow you to know when our next and freshest Dockside TV episodes are uploaded.